Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about the artisan command. And we used the artisan command in a few videos back where we ran the PHP artisan serve. And that booted up a local PHP server. We can also use a bunch of other artisan commands. So if we were to run just PHP artisan, we get a list of all of the commands available to us. And if we go through, we can kind of read what they're about. You can see that we have this auth. We have uh, some DB commands, and then we also have some make commands. So we can actually make files with our artisan command. You can go ahead and check out all these commands, and you can also go over to the Laravel docs and read up about all these different artisan commands. But we are going to use one real quick to create a controller, and we'll be talking about controllers in the next video. So let's go ahead and create a new file. So I'm going to create a new controller called customer controller. So to do that with our artisan command, I can say PHP artisan make controller customer controller and now if i were to open up the code inside of my editor i can now go to app http controllers and i will see that i have a new customer controller right here so now i can start programming logic in my controller and we can also use the artisan command to create a bunch of other files and one of the other files that we can create is a model. And we will be talking about models after we talk about controllers in the next video. But let's go ahead and generate that file right now. So I'm gonna run PHP artisan make model customer. And now if I go back to the code inside of the app folder, I will see a new customer.php. And you can see that this extends the model class. And if I go back to my customer controller, this extends the controller class. So that is just a quick overview on the artisan command. The artisan command gives us a bunch of cool commands that we can use to generate files, run database migrations, and a bunch of other cool stuff. We'll be going deeper into some artisan commands in future videos, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the artisan command. So let's move ahead and in the next video, we're gonna be talking about controllers and controllers allow us to add logic to our application. Hey, thanks for checking out this video series on Laravel 7 Basics. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks for watching this series. And I also wanted to ask you to give me a follow on Twitter at T-N-Y-L-E-A. I also wanted to take just a second and let you know about one of my courses that I created called SAS Adventure. And you can visit it at sasadventure.io. And this is a 21 day program that will teach you how to create your own software as a service using the Laravel framework. So if you want to support me, go ahead and uh, check out my course at sasadventure.io and I will see you in the next video.